Hey everybody, uh, a lot of us are going to find ourselves in the kitchen this holiday season, so I <laughs> thought I would give you some hints at some stuff in the kitchen to be on the lookout for that you can use in your crafting. This is a little uh, plastic box that I keep downstairs that I just kind of stuff things in and when it just gets stuffed I bring it upstairs and start the processing of this little um, kitchen scrap box. The first thing that usually goes in my box, things that cannot be recycled. Sometimes a bread or plastic kind of wrapping can be recycled, so just pay attention to that. But if it can't be recycled, it goes in this little receptacle, and then I bring it upstairs, and I turn these little bags into bobble balls and I'll show you one. You wrap the, um, you just make balls out of the plastic. No biggie there. And you can kind of tape them down and then you have to kind of shape them with your fingers and then you can make small bobble balls or you can use more of your plastic packaging and wrap around that one and make a bigger bobble ball. Just try to be cognizant of the things that you can recycle and the things that you can't recycle. I did not know until recently that some of this plastic packaging was recyclable. But what I do with these is I make, like I said, I make bobble balls. This is a Jenny, sorry y'all, this is a Jenny Belly, a Jenny Belly craft. Hang on just a second. Okay, here we are. I should have had this opened. So basically you roll a ball out of your plastic, you put it together with some scotch tape, and then you're going to end up with something that looks like this. When it gets to this stage, you cover it with, um, you cover it with, and this also works for bubble wrap and stuff like that. You cover it with a little bit of paper mache, which is really easy, and I'll put a link to Jenny's tutorial. And then you just start layering things on. Now I've got a couple of these already started, but this is one that I have finished, and the outcome is just <laughs> it's really super cool, y'all. They look they look very pretty stacked in a dish. They would make a wonderful gift for someone. Jenny Belly's bobble balls, bejeweled bobble balls, I think is what she calls them. They are super super neat. So just be on the lookout when you're in your kitchen for any sort of packaging that you can roll into a ball and make a a bobble ball out of. It's really super cool. Um, the next thing to look for, of course, are these kinds of wonderful little ties. This is this was garlic. I also like the the label of this. I think that that is really super cool. So I'll probably use that at some point. But this stuff is great for uh, anything. You know, it, it's like a ribbon. It's like uh, some sort of fiber. Um, I did use some, I think this was a potato packaging that I had, a, a big sack of potatoes, and that's what I used on, on this little gypsy jar that I made that I just tied to the top. And you can see that it's, you know, it's got a lot of, um, it's got a, a lot of texture and interest to it. So just another thing to kind of be on the lookout. I can see y'all all now like going through the trash can at your mother-in-law's house. <laughs> <laughs> Go y'all! Um, another thing of course is the wonderful tea tags and I do a lot with tea tags and you know if you're from the south then I'm going to have a lot of tea tags and so I just kind of keep a stash of those and I'll put those away in my little tea tag box. This is a way to use tea tags. These are just some altered tea tags that I keep on, uh, on my flow journal and I love using them. They're a lot of fun to use. Another thing to be on the lookout for is any of these little plastic closures for bread and that kind of thing. Bread, bagels, English muffins, that sort of thing. You can turn these bread taws into tabs, into tabs for your junk journals or your journals. 
Hold on, I was going to see if I could find one that I had done that to, but I might not have one in here. I do have a tutorial about um, altering those things, but I'm looking and I don't think I have one in this book. So I must have done this book before I did that tutorial. So basically what happens here is you alter this, you can put some gesso on it and then stamp it or paint it or whatever and just use it as a tab on your pages for your for your journal. So another thing to just kind of be on the lookout for. I'm sorry y'all, I really did think I had one in there but I guess not. Another thing to be on the lookout for is anything plastic like this. This is from a Pringles container. This is great to put beads in as you're working on a project, a wonderful little sorting tray for you. Anything that is packaging, especially white packaging, I really do love because you can stamp an image on here and then you can color it or paint it or whatever you want to do with it. Also, these mixations are fabulous. I've been getting those free at uh, at a local market because I've been stacking coupons for them and they are yummy yum. So look for white packaging. Look for anything like this. This is a... Um, this is just a, a little um, wipe, you know, like a little wipe. And, of course, we've all seen Jenny Belly um, make her fused paper towels. But this is just good fiber. You know, this is just interesting to work with here. And since we were talking about tea, of course, um, these little receptacles that tea comes in. Even that, I mean, that's a, that's a great little sentiment right there, and you can use that in a journal or a junk journal. These are, I just changed contacts, and these are the things that my contacts came in. I think that would be another kind of super cool sort of sorting thing. Um, I'm, all, I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with these, but anyway, I'll put that in the plastic bin. I have bins for everything, so I'll put that in the plastic bin. Of course, this is the tea tag. Then this came off a pack of tortillas, and again, you know, this makes a very nice tie for something, and it also keeps that plastic out of the landfill, out of the recycling. I mean, I think it's important to recycle, but I think it's also important to remember that anything that we can keep out of the recycling and recycle it ourselves into something beautiful is a, that's a great thing. More whiteboard, and this is from a pack of Virginia brand ham. We like to have ham sandwiches. More of the packaging that we can turn into bobble balls. Another little uh, bread tie. I actually have a lot of those right here. Uh, we've been eating English muffins, and I've been going to Lidl, y'all, and they have a great deal on English muffins and um, bagels, and their bread is fabulous. And when it's too cold in the house for me to bake my own bread, I can't make it rise because it's too cold in here, um, then I go to Lidl and I buy their bread. And, of course, something like this is just a receptacle, and you can use that to dump your other stuff in. Next thing is these wonderful um, patterns on on tissue boxes now, and I know that we've all noticed that, how very pretty they are. These things can be cut into ATCs, and you know, you can use them for all kinds of things, um, little cards, tabs, anything like that. The last thing that I'm going to show you is always keep your boxes, always keep your cereal boxes because you can turn those into actual canvases to work with. All I did with this was I had a big Cheerios box, I cut it up into like an 8.5 by 11 piece and then I was keeping these in a notebook because I was doing a lot of them at that time but I, I I do art and then I give stuff away as well for gifts. Um, so I had I had gotten kind of a, a lot of these as, as I made them to give away. Um, but this one says transcend and then has the definition for meditations right down there. All I did here was just cover it with a little bit of gesso and then I just did some painting and collage on it. So, and of course, things like this, this is made from a box. This is made from a pasta box. That's how I make my flow journals. 
don't discount that trash y'all uh, you're going to be in the kitchen pay attention and i hope that this uh was informative <laughs> if you go digging in the trash somewhere <laughs> But it is fun, y'all, to recycle your trash. It's important to uh, pay attention to the environment and to uh, keep that stuff out of the landfill as much as possible. Thanks for hanging out with me, y'all. Have a great day. Talk to you soon. Bye.